My name is Gina Booker. I'm the executive director of 1346 Dance Ensemble. The name of the ensemble comes from the parable of the Pearl of Great Price from Matthews 1345 and 46. And it says the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking fine pearls. And when he found one pearl of great price, he sold all he had and brought it. My name is Sheltice Woodford. I am um, a three-year so far and running member of 1346. And um, um, I've actually known Gina for a very long time, since she was about 14 years old. She actually was a model that I used to coach. And now the student has become the teacher. And um, my, I have two daughters that are part of the ministry, Jada Woodford and JL Woodford and I came to be a part. First I started as a dance mom, and now I call myself a dancing mom. And um, ministry drew me. I love to dance, I've always loved to dance, and I love ministry. So when ministry meets a gift, um, that's where I found myself, and enjoy being here. Love it. <laughs> was created in 2012. It started from just a need for a small group of girls just to have an outlet to dance and release um, and express our love and worship for God. Um, and from there it has grown uh, tremendously and we have expanded to two locations now, well three locations now, Baltimore, Maryland, which is the original location. Then in 2016 we expanded to um, Tampa, Florida, and now in 2018, we are expanding to New Jersey, and um, we are expecting to continue to expand. just helps me and it's just ability that I have to speak in different languages except I'm not good with voices as good as I am with dance so 
dance just helps me express myself. Hi, my name is Chanel Fleet. I started dancing when I was six years old at my church. I love to dance. Um, it's my passion. I love dancing for Christ. Um, I started watching 1346 dance videos on YouTube and I was like, I have to be a part. Their mission, their objective and vision is so great and I just love being a part of it. They have brought me to a different place in my worship and my ministry. And yeah, I just love 1346. Dance to me is my communication to God. So when people are witnessing me dance, um, they're literally seeing me communicate with our Father. Uh, I use dance and worship just, just to express to Him how much I appreciate Him and love Him. Um, it's definitely a, a gift He has given me and I decided and chose that with this gift, I will use it only for His glory and to minister to His people and bring people to his kingdom and yeah. Um, my childhood was, was I would say um, somewhat rough but um, even as a child I knew God had his hand on my life. I grew up in a household with a, I call my parents, um, two different worlds. My father was a practicing Muslim and my mother was a somewhat backslidden Baptist and um, I was somewhere in the middle. Um, didn't really get raised in church, but God saw fit to bring people in my life that drew me to Him and um, struggled with a lot of things coming up. Um, I was a so-called wayward teenager, but again, God had His hand on my life, and so He brought people into my life who ministered to me, who um, kind of invited me to know Christ. and. Um, it just drew me in. The love is what drew me in. Um, not that I didn't get the love at home from my parents, but being in a household that was divided, um, it was a different kind of love. But when I got to know the love of Christ and the people that God used to show me the love of Christ, that's what drew me to Him. And dance has always been a part of my life, um, even from a child. Um, all styles of dancing, hip hop, um, jazz, modern, Never got too much ballet, but um, just love to dance. And so again, when um, ministry meets the gift and what God has naturally given me to do, um, I felt drawn to it. And that's my story. It's not really exciting, but ministry is what I do and dance is what I love. Wow.
I did is that it was my dream and it was there with my mother and my sister and I watched and I was like, I could probably do that. And how I got to this dance assemble is when the church they used to practice at, I was sitting down in the at the altar and my mom said, that JL could probably join, and I said, no, I don't want to. And then Gina said, come on, it's, it's just dance. And then I said, okay, fine, I'll try. And then that's how I got in. Dance to me is a relaxation. It's a breather to get away from everything and to just let my feet touch the ground and be who I am, um, it's very personal connection. Um, I just love to dance, it's just as simple as that. Um, initially when I first, as I said, I was a dance mom, I came and um, I wanted my daughters to be a part of something that they love to do, but was not pulled by the world. You know, I didn't want my daughters twerking and um, dancing to ungodly music and promoting things that are not of God. So when 1346 um, came about, um, it was something that I wanted my children to be involved in because I know how much they love to dance and I wanted them to see the ministry side of it. Um, you know, a lot of people think that dance is just something to do in a ministry, but it's actually more like tilling the ground. You know, um, we break up the fallow ground and we break spirits in, in, in warfare and then we worship, you know, we set an atmosphere. So I wanted my children to be a part of that. And when I first started, um, I knew that the, the gift of dance ministry ministered abroad, ministered to the watcher. You know, someone sitting in the audience and seeing it can be ministered to. But when I became a dancer, um, it ministered to me. And I, I got to see the other side of it. So not only have I been given the opportunity to minister to others, but I've also been able to receive ministry through the form of dance. You know, God can come in and touch my heart as I'm dancing and, and help me to release things. So that's what I wanted my children to experience. Experience personal ministry and then be able to minister. Then we wouldn't be where we're at right now. Um, I maybe wouldn't even be inspired, so I'm glad mm -hmm. that that happened. And that was probably God's plan to get us together. Um, I grew up in Baltimore City. Um, I've always been into the arts, and so that 
my whole entire life I've been into the arts. I'm also a visual artist besides being a dance minister. Uh, so I've always been into the arts. So me going to art school, Twigs, and then to the Baltimore School for the Arts, it definitely kept me out of trouble and focused on the arts. Um, and as I became an adult, I've learned to use the arts in ministry, you know, in order to glorify God. I grew up in West Baltimore, inner city, um, not a, I, I would think like maybe mid to low class um, urban community. Um, there wasn't a lot of um, outlets for children at my age and unfortunately it's gotten a lot worse. Um, I'm 37, so when I was a teenager, when I was my daughter's age, um, there were things I could get involved in in school, but not a lot of things for children who wanted to do something really productive. And now, the time has progressed 20 years later, 30 years later, um, I think times are even worse. Um, as far as 1346 Dance Ensemble, what I love about it is that even though we do ministry, um, we don't turn away people who are not in ministry, so to speak. Um, we, we use gifts and, and what God has put inside of you. So just because you don't belong to a specific church ministry, that does not mean that you cannot come and take part in what we do. And I think that's awesome because um, it's so much division in church already. And we are a group that will accept anybody from anywhere as long as you're being used of God and called to serve the purpose of ministering and dance. And I think it's important for communities to have things like this, to keep young girls, um, even young men, doing something productive and learning how to use the gifts that God has given them to filter out into the community. Of course, to win souls for the kingdom. That is the purpose. 1346 Dance Ensemble has definitely um, is a gift that God has blessed me with and it keeps me humble because I see all of the people that are connected to it and how it has blessed their life. Um, it's overwhelming at times just to sit back and see all the different connections that has expanded be beyond Baltimore and I get um, emails and messages all the time from people in other states talking about how just a simple video, YouTube video, has helped them, has healed them emotionally, or uh, gave them hope just to fight one more day. Mm -hmm.